Good morning, guys. I'm live now. So it's uh, six fifty-seven. The scheduled time is seven o'clock, and we'll start the actual session by seven o five. So we are waiting for the participants to join. Those who are watching the recordings, they can just fast forward for ten minutes. Sahana, good morning. Welcome to the session. Third day, first session. First participant. Yeah, hi Nandini. Welcome to the session. I'll just adjust this light. Tulika, good morning. Tathapi and Ranga, 
both together good morning now it's 7 or 2 so we'll start our silence at 7 or 5 let others join by that time Yeah, Vikrant has joined. <coughs> Pooja also has joined. Good morning, Pooja. Good morning, Vikrant. So we can start our session. Asha uh, hasn't uh, joined uh, yet, so uh, it's, it's too early for her. It seems so she can watch the recordings. So let's start our uh, silence then. Thank you. 
Good morning. This is the third day, the Union Day. You know, Union, Unison. So that's the structure of our course. Yesterday we observed the Uno Day. Today is Union Day, and tomorrow is Unison Day. So I saw the question uh, Nandini has put in uh, WhatsApp group. Uh, I'll repeat that. Nandini wanted to clarify if the grandparent parents, those who are uh, nurturing and uh, upbringing the grandchildren actively, what about them? Are they in unison phase or in union phase? That was the particular question. So, in general, I answered that uh, the active upbringing is programmed by the parents only. By nature. So, grandparents, they do not usually upbring the grandchildren. It's all there, uh, all in their mind. The upbringing or contribution towards the upbringing, these are generally very limited. The actual upbringing, the active involvement in the upbringing. So, it is definitely their unison phase. So, I just saw Nandini replied back that in some exceptional cases, if the child is parentless or something like that, the uh, grandparents need to take care of the grandchildren. So, what about that? That definitely it's an extension of the union phase for the grandparents and those are exceptional. Right? So, uh, with that, we'll uh, start today's session. Uh, so, today uh, as usual the early morning session will be uh, devoting some time on the exercise part. So, we will be revising few of the concepts that we saw yesterday. The spine navel lymph connection. <coughs> so, as uh, I shared yesterday that the spine is our central axis and uh, the central axis means the mass both the sides or all the sides primarily both the sides of the spine will be equal. So, as you see in the uh, this particular image the spine is at the center and it is equally distributed both the sides. So, when I say equally distributed mass wise that means something. For example, left side we have heart. So, it could be a contradiction that left side is an extra uh, organ is there. So, how the mass could be equal? But if you go deep, you will find the left lung is smaller than the right lung. The left lung is smaller the, than the right lung to accommodate the heart. So, this is super structure that is sketched and programmed by nature to give us the equal weight both the sides of the spine. So, we need to understand that and we need to understand the importance of this spinal integrity because spinal integrity is one of the major aspect of the wellness. If we do not take care of our spine then we may lead to some health hazards. Right. Now, when I say spinal integrity, how to deal with that? How to execute that? So, for that, there are few hydrotherapies are recommended on a regular basis. If you can execute that, that will relax your spine. And we need to remember that spine is the most important organ of the body which is accessible. Unarguably, the mind, the brain is the most important uh, organ of the body. But it is not accessible because it is closed in a shell, hard shell and you cannot give a massage for improvement of the 
circulation if needed. But the spine is accessible and spine can be actually given a support without suppressing any healing crisis or something. So it's a kind of exercise support to the spine if we opt spinal therapies. Now spinal therapies could be uh, these kind of things. <laughs> okay, there is some question. Uh, see. In case of polio victim whose alignment uh, is defective due to shorter leg, what are ramifications? So we'll, we'll uh, address these questions uh, in a while. Mm, in the next topic, we'll be addressing the weak links and there you'll be finding some uh, ways out. Hope the audio or uh, video are uh, good for everybody. You can just type Y for yes. Right, so for spinal, yeah, thanks guys. So, uh, mm, spinal bath can be taken up in a healthy condition also. If you do not have any problem, then also you can just relax your spine. This is one of the major hydrotherapies. We will be, we'll be covering, uh, okay, Nandini uh, fixed her problem yesterday. So, uh, she is having stable connection today it seems. So, um, yeah, so hydrotherapy, you know perennially why this hydrotherapy is adapted in nature cure because uh, nature's uh, phenomena was that the animals will dip themselves in the river or uh, uh, water bodies. Now, as the civilization grew, the kind of dipping ourselves in the water gets reduced and that actually deprives us from a lot of facilities that we get from this nature's uh, facility of dipping ourselves in the water. So definitely in city dwellers uh, condition, uh, we cannot have an access to the river or the pond to dip ourselves, right. So hydrotherapy is an alternative to those aspects. And that gives our spine a great relaxation. And the, if the spine is relaxed, then we are largely relaxed. We need to understand this. So for the spinal bath, there could be two options of spinal bath. These kind of tubs are available in the market. You will find we can share those links also in the market where uh, the person can lie down like this so there the spine will be inside the water the spine will be inside the water dipped so water level you need to understand that water level will be like this So this is the ideal uh, hydrotherapy of the spine. If this is not possible, then you can go for a small tub and you can just sit like this. And the water can be, this is your navel area. So, till the navel zone. So, what is the benefit of the spine? Spine will be here. So, the spine root will be dipped in the water. The spine root will be dipped in the water. And if the root of the spine is also relaxed, then you get the benefit of the relaxation to the spine. So, these two options of uh, uh, relaxation. Bring 
this view below. So this is a type 1, this is type 2 and hope you are accessing the PDF that, that's being shared. So this PDF also will be shared uh, with you. So, so these are the two types of hydrotherapy of the spine. Now going back to our main discussion that uh, okay, uh, we need to be submerged in the pond till the neck. Yeah, so that is an ideal hydrotherapy uh, Nandini is saying about that in the pond uh, till the neck if we can submerge that is a great relaxation for the body mm, and water we need to understand that this is the primary element. So, there is no point of innervation due to water submerged if it is not irritating for us. So next is the navel uh, observation. If you see the, uh, the structure of our body, the umbilical region is at the middle point. If you see the umbilical region through which you were connected to the mother is at the center and that is the center of gravity we need to understand. So at the time of birth, the solar plexus or the navi used to be our center of gravity. Now that center of gravity gets dislocated out of the uh, lifestyle patterns or lot of effects are there. But in general everybody had the CG as the navi or the solar plexus. Now we need to reverse our lifestyle to conserve more and more vitality and we need to observe our changes in the navel so that it becomes at the center of the body, it, it, it comes back at the center of the body, that is very important, right. So solar plexus observation is very much needful in the process of exercise and all those stuff. And we talked about the lymph yesterday, uh, uh, I am sure, okay, uh, how about normal bathtub? is swimming benefits too? Yes, yes, why not? Uh, normal bath uh, tub is also a good uh, bath tub. So, this is quite similar to the normal bath tub only. This one is a normal bath tub sim similar to similar to normal bath tub. Right, so uh, definitely till the neck we can submerge and swimming, yeah swimming also is a good exercise, it is a it's very beneficial exercise because it is a combination of physical exercise plus the hydrotherapy. So you need to address that, uh, but in any case we should not innervate ourselves in the process. Right, so I am not uh, going uh, back on the uh, this thing. Uh, uh, this hydrostatic pressure, osmotic pressure because uh, we uh, understood that yesterday very going very deep about the osmosis process and reverse osmosis process. So all in all the lymph is the fluid which contains the toxin and the lymph nodes are the areas where the toxins are retained the most. So we need to address this very uh, genuinely dialectically because the lymph nodes are located in the joints and the lymphatic system is an open system, it does not have any pump because nature has sketched this joint to move and this movement will work as pump. So starting from chewing, you know, so one activity lots of benefits, chewing is a digestive activity but it gives a massage and exercise to the lymph nodes also which are located here. So more you chew, more you give exercise to your lymph nodes. So chewing is a great exercise and uh, that aspect also you need to understand. 
स्विमिंग पूल्स कंटेन ह्यूज अमाउंट्स ऑफ केमिकल व्हिच आर इनर्वेटिंग यस सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस एस्पेक्ट थैंक्स नंदिनी फॉर रिमाइंडिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर इशू बिकॉज स्विमिंग पूल द अर्बन स्विमिंग पूल्स कंटेन लॉट ऑफ क्लोरिन्स एंड ऑल दोज केमिकल्स टू डिस इनफेक्ट एंड ऑल दोज स्टफ आर देयर but those uh, affect our uh, vitality a lot because vitality fights with those chemicals when you submerge inside the uh, swimming pool so we need to understand that and uh, then we need to limit our swimming time in the swimming pool chemical laden uh, swimming pool and uh, also we need to take a bath with normal water after uh, the swimming is done so that was the first topic uh, okay tulika uh, says that naval uh, observation we just bring our awareness to that point yes absolutely because you cannot do a massage to a point you cannot do an exercise for that point so you need to do exercise other exercises but you need to keep a watch mindfully toward towards your navel region right so and how many times it has to be performed so it's it's just mindful observation you know it's it's not that you need to uh, look at it to uh, understand uh, the changes you can just feel it just any time you of the day you just feel your navel whether the shape is changing and you are getting the feeling of the confidence will come back and the confidence can be felt there at the solar plexus you will have the confidence to carry your body effectively and effortlessly if your navel comes back to the original position so this has to be understood right so now coming back to uh, the topic of discussion so it was a kind of recap of yesterday's discussion now uh, i'll uh, start with a new topic called weaklings so uh, there were uh, many incidences where uh, this nature cure cure understanding about the vitality is argued so i had uh, many experiences uh, of such uh, i had an article also on that innervating eyes and weaklings uh, you can you can uh, read that on our page but uh, what happened is one of my friends he actually argued that uh, all these uh, vitality things you um, explain is useless because i myself am a computer professional and i am around uh, 12 to 16 hours a day i am on computer all the times i am looking at the screen but my eyes are perfect if your analogy is uh, correct then my eyes would have gone by now that was the argument now we need to actually go little deeper to understand this because the vitality is a common reservoir with a multitasking labor inside us so if for some reason somebody's eyes are very strong uh, genetically and uh, uh, if if that eye is being exposed to some innervating exercise the innervation will happen in the central reservoir not on the eyes so it it through proper channel it goes and that innervation may affect in some other region of the body which may not be exposed to direct innervation we need to understand so we have multiple parts of the body one part may be exposed to some direct innervation but if for some reason that part is very strong point of the body that will not be affected but other part will be affected and that affected part that affected part is named as the weak link of the body and we all have different unique weak links in our body so whenever we innervate ourselves we actually reduce the output and we retain the toxin and that toxin retainments occur in the weak links of the body we need to understand this so this is very important understanding to understand our health and wellness
Okay, Sahana uh, raised a question. Uh, Manipuri chakra blocked causes fear, hence feeling of confidence. I don't understand this Manipuri chakra, uh, Sahana. If you can explain, what is this Manipuri chakra? Anyway. So, uh, if you can explain what is Manipuri Chakra, then we can uh, explain or uh, try to relate with it. Uh, so, I was talking about the weak links. So, we have our unique weak links in our body where the toxins get deposited and retained if we do, do not have enough conserved vitality to expel that out. This has to be understood and weak link may not be necessarily actively exposed to some innervating act. So, now that, okay, so uh, Sahana says Manipuri Chakra is uh, at solar plexus, okay, might be, I am not uh, aware about this chakra system, uh, so uh, this might be, I am not sure. Uh, yeah, so I was talking about the weaklings. Now, how to address this weakling? Because these weaklings will affect our day-to-day -day life, day-to-day -day performance sometime. Now, we need to address that, right? Now, uh, another question was asked uh, uh, regarding what? Regarding a weakling only in case of polio victim. Uh, Nandini asked this question. So, suppose somebody suffers from some kind of condition and that condition affected some part of the body. Now, we need to pause and understand now the aspect of form and function. So, there is a concept in nature cure called structure governs function. The meaning of structure governs function is the structure always governs the function. The way it is structured the function will appear that way. So, the function is a formless aspect, the structure is a formed aspect. So, this function is actually governed by the structure, not the other way. For us at least, for the organisms at least. So, this is a fact that we govern our functions through the structure that we have. So, now to address this weak link, we need to pursue this weak link under the light of form and function. Now, see, now I will walk you through three, three observations, three point observation where we will be observing the structure and the function both under three conditions. One is the general condition, next is the existing condition of mind. So, one is the general condition, what it should be by analyzing the nature. We will try to understand that how the structure should be. Now, what is my structure? And then we find the difference. If the difference is there, then and the difference is a negative difference, then definitely it is a weak link. Then we will find out in the third exercise, we will find out whether this can be improved or not whether the improvement is needed or not, whether the improvement is possible or not, these analysis have to be done, right. So, the first is the existence of it, the general existence, next the condition that, that is their present condition and then the scope of improvement, right. So, the structural analysis we need to do of that very part of the body. If we consider that part is my weak point, if that part is considered by me as the weak point, then we need to go deep onto that part of the body to explore the what could be the general structure of that part, right. Next is we need to explore the functional structure, functional existence or the operational existence of the very part generally what it should be. So, for example, if my hand is this, my hand is uh, having some problem I feel, 
then what should be the structure of this hand in general and what is the function of that hand in general that is the first analysis that you need to do post that we need to find out the deformities if we compare then we will find the structural deformity yes there is a structural deformity exist we need to acknowledge it yes it is there so you should not give any justification or excuses but acknowledgement yes generally it is and now it is then what is the functional effect to my life due to this deformation so the defect in the function operational defect or operational deformity deformation so after these two analysis yeah vikrant asked that how to identify a weak link uh, of the body so weak link uh, you need not to strive uh, to find out you know you it will be surfaced it will be surfaced uh, and you will find that this this particular part is not working uh, as it's supposed to be so you need to you need not to strive hard or uh, get some diagnosis done to find out uh, what is the weak link uh, of your body right vikram so now after these two analysis what is the general and what is my condition when we analyze these two things then we need to figure out whether there is a scope of improvement or not the structural improvement and the functional improvement both if the structured can be improved then how it can be now the structural improvement in nature cure can be possible only through effective metabolism we understood metabolism that metabolism is a combination of two processes catabolic and anabolic process and catabolic process is breaking down the cells and anabolic process is building up of the cells so if we have effective catabolism and anabolism then the weaker portion of the cells will be replaced by the stronger newer cell then the structural improvement can be possible and for the structural improvement the thumb rule is effective inputs density management so if we improve our food exposure to the sun exposure to the fresh air and right water at the right time then we will be having a structural benefit for all parts of our body including the weak links so the beauty of the structural improvement is it is a common so if we are inculcating inculcating a right habit of inputs and density management in our lives then we will have default structural improvement for all the parts of our body we need not to worry at all so now the first worry is craft if we have inculcated generally the right food habit the right sun exposure habit the conscious air management the conscious water management so raw plus solid food is the solution for structural improvement as far as the nature cure is concerned now to answer uh, nandini's question the polio affected legs so hardly there will be any chance to get rid of or get back that polio affected legs uh, through uh, nature cure principles but the functional improvement can be possible structural improvement is a doubtful thing so for that you can go for the prosthetic uh, support which will give a support to the structure right functional let's understand now functional improvement okay there is a question from tulika does weak links co coincide with lymph nodes could you please give some example absolutely why not lymph node is a part of your body and that lymph node can be your uh, weak link that region of the body so we we see that tuberculosis tb happens mostly in these portions of the lymph nodes so these are the weak links for those people those who get uh, affected by the tb it is just toxemia but where the toxemia will get uh, accumulated that is decided by the body and mostly it is done at the weak links of the body right 
so i was talking about the operational improvement now operational improvement is then keen observation of the function of that part of the body how it should function and what is the problem in my function now whether it is affecting my day to day life or not now if that is being affected then the activities can be exercised activities can be exercised for that part of the body to improve its function it's a conscious improvement of the function that we can exercise as a norm it will enhance the speed and circulation of that region of the body of that part of the body and that will enhance the function and reduce the density of that part of the body but these all steps should be done without putting any stress to self without putting any stress to self right because any stress is innervating so we are not here to enforce anything we need to understand the things and convince ourselves for the change slowly and gradually consistently so consistent conservation of vitality consciously that is the key now here comes the philosophical aspect because many a time many a time the limitation that we identify is is useless is unfounded because it is not contributing to my day to day life day to day functions so if it is not contributing then why to bother so when we identify a weaklings we need to be very unbiased and neutral in analyzing it whether it is really needed or not if it is not needed that much then we need not to worry because in any case we are inculcating a better lifestyle for betterment of holistically holistic body so weak link is very much included in that no special consideration unless it is very much needed for my life so this philosophy is very much important while addressing a weak link right magical change cannot happen so in the nature cure route no magical expectation should be there you cannot expect that overnight the things will be improved overnight things will not improve naturally so you have to have keen patience and perseverance in your route to have the change enjoyed right so uh, this way i end this topic of weak link but next topic i'll pick up a uh, specific weak link so that this is the theoretical aspect that i have uh, shared with you now a specific weak link management will give you some better idea that how this can be addressed so you need to remember revise this concept that the structural existence to be analyzed then functional existence to be analyzed then the defect in the structure and the function to be analyzed then the improvements of the structure and the function to be analyzed for any weak links that we experience and identify right so any question you can uh, put in the chat box uh, by that time i'll uh, shift to the next presentation on addressing a weak link right so <clears throat> here uh, i'll uh, pick up uh, an example of eyes the example that i have given that experience that i have shared 
is uh, um, about the eyes. So now let's pick up uh, eye as a weak link and. As you see that I wear, uh, I use specs. Um, so my eye uh, is a weak link, and I remember that um, in my childhood when uh, the television was introduced. So um, in my uh, in our house also, uh, in our home also, like uh, television was brought, and uh, we were very much uh, excited about that. So this is somewhere 1980s. Uh, I'm talking about. So, I used to watch television just like this uh, within 2-3 feet uh, and engrossed into it and within a within few months my eyes were affected with that lifestyle problem. So in my case it was the weak link and it was actively innervated and it got affected. Right. So, uh, so it is not the case that through the active innervation, the part will not be affected, it will be affected, but in few cases, if it is very strong point, then it will not be affected, right. Now we need to understand this. Now, now this is a problem, eye problem, the vision problem is a problem. We cannot see the things clearly. If I remove the specs, then I cannot see this camera clearly, the vividly the camera is not seen by my eyes as I have removed my eyeglasses. Now, I attended this particular uh, training there in Coimbatore uh, from uh, institute uh, where the eye, uh, this nature cure route of eye management uh, is trained. Now, they actually follow these patterns, though that is a very mechanical pattern they follow, uh, they do not uh, explain the uh, reason and the science behind because they do not have time and uh, facilities of that. They have uh, kind of uh, a group of people, trained people, they will assist you to have these exercises and uh, guidance for the improvement of your vision. Now, let us see those things under the light of nature cure now and the conception that we just understood about weak links. Now eyes are to be, are to be actually, see I need to actually bring the iPad little nearer to uh, see because uh, that is the problem that I, my eyes have, I cannot see the things, it is a myop myopic problem, so the far thing I cannot see clearly. Now, as far as the structural aspect, aspects are concerned, I already told that the, this is a common. So, we need to improve the exposure to uh, RAW, radiation, air, water and uh, the raw form of solid food and also the knack of overall conservation of vitality. Now overall conservation of vitality is a knack that we need to develop through which this is a common actually. These solutions are common for all the weaklings as I have already communicated. Now let us see the functional weaklings. So now we need to observe the eye and its capabilities. Now see we have these capabilities. The I will uh, demonstrate the exercises also, but let me explain it first. The circulatory improvement is the massage to the optical nerve. So that will give the circulation because the circulations are there in these optic nerves. Optic nerves are connected. So these are the regions of the optic nerves. So if the circulations can be improved here through massages, then it should be done. Right, because the operation is affected because of the lack of proper circulation, because of the toxemia obviously. So we need to give speed through massaging to the optic nerves. Then rest is very important after the massage. So we need to give rest through palming to the eyes so that it gets the required relaxation also. Then we need to understand the importance of the blink. This blinking 
blinking is actually a default relaxation for our eyes and with the kind of device exposure the rates of the blinks are reduced so you need to bring back bring back the blinking blinking habits to uh, the normal by conscious blinking so conscious blinking is very much needed now the fourth point is we need to exercise the operational capability of the eyes so what are the operational capability it has so if i don't move our neck no move my neck then also i can see from here to here so these operation the movement we have this capability we have now just that we don't execute it consciously here in this exercise we need to execute it consciously then another activity that our eyes do the focus shifting so suppose i am now focusing on this now all the other things are blurred now if i shift my focus to something far then this becomes blurred so this is a capability this is a high end camera capability the focus change is another capability of the eyes that also we need to do consciously for the eye improvement for the functional improvement of the eye now another capability is following a motion if something goes in front of us we can follow it without actually moving the neck also we can follow it we can follow and capture the sights so that thing also to be exercised then another capability that we have that we can see in the darkness also so the darkness adjustment is another practice that we need to give our eyes consciously so i'll explain uh, i'll demonstrate all the um, things uh, now now okay this was actually eighth point somehow it becomes so so now the consistent uh, observation so if we are hindered to see something then also we have the capability to fix our focus avoiding the hindrance suppose this hand is actually obstructing my view then also i can actually keep my focus on this where this obstruction becomes blurred right and this is actually another uh, exercise that uh, that is prescribed that we should try to read the gaps not the letters if we try to read the gaps so gaps when i say so suppose i am writing here a b c now these this space of the so if suppose i am writing a b c here and suppose this is my area to view then see this black area is the gap if we focus on the gap primarily then we'll see the letters will pop up and it will be visible this is another amazing exercise that can be exercised so while reading if we try observing the gaps then the vision gets improved yeah so now the philosophical uh, aspects that do we really need glasses do we really need glasses this is one point we need to ask ourselves and the spectacles actually do not improve your eyes condition it actually works on the object so if i wear a spectacle then these uh, which are uh, hazy or blurred that becomes clearer that doesn't improve my eyes that actually works on the object this understanding should be there now habit of reading the space that already i have sh uh, shared that we need to inculcate a habit of reading the space not the letter and observing observation of the stress 
so whether our eyes are stressed out or not through this device uh, observation and all through through the uses of the devices we actually stress out our eyes without our notice so we need to keep observing that thing that whether any source of the light constantly giving pain to our eyes or not right So, on the philosophical aspect, uh, there was a this Dr. Satish uh, who uh, under whom uh, we did this training there in Coimbatore uh, about the eye exercise. Uh, he shared a story. After the story, I will actually demonstrate the exercises of the eyes. Uh, so, uh, he shared this story that two people, two husband wife actually, uh, a couple came to them uh, for eye improvement of husband. Now, uh, Dr. Satish actually uh, does not encourage uh, the clients to use pets because uh, he emphasizes that if you do not need specs, you do not use, you should not use specs. Like for now, you know, this is, this is our limitation as I was saying the other day that uh, opinion should not be looked for, the fact should be looked for. So, uh, please do not ask my opinion on anything. Because this is an example, the fact is we should not use the specs if it is not needed. Now philosophically, I have not convinced myself for that. Right now also I am effectively taking the class, I can look at the camera, I can see the camera lens, but it is just that it is not very clear. Now what is the requirement of seeing that clear? If I strain myself to see that very clear, then it is a stress for me. But if I am philosophically convinced that it is not needed now, I can very well take classes without glasses. So, my opinion, that momentary opinion led me to use glasses, which I should not. So, I need to acknowledge that. So, the opinion can be actually uh, problematic. The fact is I should not use unless it is needed. So that need to be analyzed philosophically, right? So, yes. So this story, the story is that husband wife, they came uh, and the husband was suffering from eye problem as per them and uh, Dr. Sati is told that no, do not use specs. Uh, then this wife got furiated that uh, what are you saying that most of the opticians says that uh, you should constantly use glasses and you are saying that do not use glasses. Then Satish was trying to convince her that no, if you are constantly using glasses then eyes do not get a scope to improve itself. So we need to give a room to the eyes to improve also without straining it. So if you feel stress, keep the specs in your pocket. If you feel stress, then you wear. Otherwise, just try and understand if it is not needed, then it is not needed. But this lady was not convinced at all. She was arguing, no, you are wrong. Then lastly, Dr. Satish asked that lady, please come, I want to check your eyes. Then the lady said, no, no, my eyes are absolutely fine. I do not need any specs or anything. Um, I, I am not here to check, get my eyes checked. Uh, so, somehow Dr. Satish convinced this lady and it was found that she was suffering a eye problem according to the computer more than the double of the husband's problem. So, husband's power was minus 0.75 but she was having 2 um, as the power. But she did not feel any kind of requirement of specs so far. Now, the machine is saying that you are suffering from it. So, this is what is the philosophical connection. If we do not need it, then we do not need it. A farmer does not need a reading glass if he does not, uh, if he is not into reading much, right. So, why to instigate a problem by comparison, right. If I need it for my life, then it is needed. So, that is the philosophical aspect of understanding weak links, that whether the weak link is a real weak link or because of some influence we are saying that this is a weak link. Right. Now the exercises, now the exercises are, it should be starting with the structural aspect. So for the structural aspect, you need to actually uh, go out 
and uh, looking at the sun by closing your eyes you need to move your body and with the movement of the body you need to move the eyeballs also so like this you can actually give the particle benefit of the radiation looking at the eyes by closing the eyes looking at the sun by closing the eyes so this way around 20 times to be done so you can just go outside facing sun you can just move your body like this right and post that so the air benefit also you get if you go outside so radiation and air benefit you have got now you can give the water benefit to your eyes normal drinking water you should take the clean water and take a mug like this and uh, fill it up with water and dip your eyes and blink inside for 10 times 20 times so the, uh, how many times you feel comfortable go for it right so blinking inside the water for 10 to 20 times each eyes so like this mug a cup or a bowl fill it up with water otherwise in uh, market these kind of things are also available eye cups uh, these are also available so the, these are very uh, useful for eye exercise uh, of the water uh, thing so you can just dip your eyes like this and you can blink like this 10 to 20 times right so these three exercises are for the structural improvement and the food definitely you need to have good food good raw input should be there no specific food is recommended in nature cure for structural improvement you know that right any question let me see is there any age limit for structural no there is no age limit because uh, the metabolism uh, is continued. Vikrant asked this question. Okay, Nandini says that I have myopia with some angular correction in both eyes. So those are medical terms. So the vision improvement can be possible, Nandini. Mm, I abandoned glasses last year. I have noticed my eyesight is better. I do similar exercises during tree meditation in the sun every day. Excellent. Yes, specs are crutches. I believe that uh, I don't need to see what I can't see. <laughs> great, great philosophical understanding. So the eyeball also shrinks in size with wearing as of specs as it has reduced work as a work as an organ. The eye is miraculous because it adjusts focus as per instruction received from the brain. So bifocal is a stressful item absolutely absolutely right Namini. thanks for sharing all these things now <clears throat> so now coming to the operation operational uh, improvement so I, I should face the camera and do this <coughs> so first is the massage of the optic nerve now the optic nerves are in this area, this area and connected to the ear, nose, all this area. These are the optic nerves spread over this, this zone. So now you need to do the point massage. So these are the points, these are called acupressure points also, but all in all you are giving massage to the optic nerve. So like this. You need to three, four times you need to rotate every point. So you need to split this bone around the uh, eyeball uh, with seven, eight points and you need to just rotate it clockwise, anti-clockwise three times. So like this three cycles can be done, like this three cycles can be done, right and then the sliding massage, put your two fingers like this, then slide the fingers over the forehead, go to the back of the ear, then rotate here for five times, just the bone below the eye lobes, bone 
then next is from this nose bone just slide it similarly below the eyes go back to the ears at the same point rotate it for the five times then the third step at the middle of each eyebrows at the middle of each eyebrows put two fingers then rotate it five times so this is anti clock rotation is recommended so rotate it whatever way you rotate that doesn't harm that much so clockwise or anti clockwise but that rotation so this also three cycles to be done so one was the point massage other as the slide massage so this is the massage of the optical nerve right now <clears throat> after this massage you need to do a palming for 5 minutes 5 minutes is literally long you will feel while doing this palming so now how to do palming this is you need to rub your palms and that warmth you need to give to your eyes and you can actually if you are sitting on the floor then you can actually do like this rest your uh, elbows on the knees and you can uh, stay for 5 minutes or otherwise you can say, take some pillows uh, if you are sitting on the chair you can take pillows and rest your elbows because this will be straining the elbows will be straining while doing this exercise this palming so palming is typically resting your eyes with the warmth of your palms right so that rest is uh, very important so after the massage and the rest then the movement exercise and movement before the movement exercise we need to understand the importance of blinks because the blinking is very important in between the exercise now we'll start with the rotational exercise where you can just stretch your hand you can just stretch your hand and look at the thumb so your neck should be in line with the thumb then without rotating the neck you should bring your hand in line with the body just 90 degree apart from the starting point and just your eyeball should look at that and at the extreme point give a conscious blinking then again bring it bring it back in between if you are blinking that's fine but the, at the extreme the conscious blinking again go back go back extreme conscious blinking again bring back bring back bring back extreme conscious blinking so this way five times right hand five time left hand so conscious blinking is very much important right now the next is the focus shifting so focus shifting also can be done using the thumb so keep the thumb around 8 to uh, 6 to 8 inch uh, uh, away from your nose and at the line of the eyes then start with a blink keep your focus on the thumb stretch the hand forward and then shift your focus from the thumb to something far then blink then bring your focus back to the thumb then bring the thumb near to the eyes then blink so you need to remember the blinking at the extreme and after the focus is shifted so now focus is on the thumb it is going far far then i am shifting my focus to something far object then i am blinking then again i am opening my eyes then bringing my focus back on the thumb then thumb is back near the eyes then blink so each extremes we need to blink this conscious blinking is very much important now after this you need to do a kind of abstraction thing and the motion thing can be done using a ball you know you can just uh, take balls uh, uh, take take that uh, normal cricket ball that tennis ball, ball 
and just you can just uh, do this kind of catch uh, if you have a partner then you can just play the catch catch kind of things so that will be an exercise for the eyes to uh, observe the movement motion right and now this uh, abstraction exercise you need to fix your focus to a far object then bring an intentional object uh, abstraction in front of your eyes through your fingers now move your fingers like this abstracting your view which is fixed at the far focused object which is fixed at the far focused object and each extreme should be a conscious blinking now you are not seeing the palm or the fingers but the object so these these all are blurred and at the extreme blinking at the extreme blinking so this way uh, this can be executed that without with the obstruction also you can fix our focus this is one of the capabilities of the eyes now the next is the seeing in the darkness now seeing in the darkness is a hollow palming where you will try to hollow cross palming where you will try to cover your eyes to bring a darkness inside the palm and there should be a space to open the eyes like this so it's a hollow palm where i can open the eyes and i need to adjust the fingers so that the rays the light rays should not enter now it is complete darkness now soft blinking inside the hollow palm now slowly and gradually you will find that the sight is becoming clearer even if it was dark initially now you can see little little things so that's the capability of our eyes that we have we need to execute that right yeah so all the movements exercises are covered now right so that ends the uh, eye exercise and the weak link uh, addressing of the eyes yeah importantly it's a slow and steady uh, method no magic should be uh, expected now as far as my uh, eye exercise regime is concerned i am not consistent i don't uh, have any hesitation to acknowledge that and i need to be consistent on that and my record is uh, i started with 4.25 minus 4.25 diopter now it is uh, minus 3 and i keep uh, 0.25 under correct so now this glass that i am using is 0.2.75 now so i started around uh, four three years back so uh, around 1.5 reduction i am experiencing now so that doesn't have any age limit as uh, vikrant asked you know so and it should be ended with a the exercise should be ended yeah i was forgetting to say uh, say that it should be ended with another rest to your eyes preferably you can take two cotton pieces dip it in the water squeeze it then put it on the eyes and relax for 5 minutes or 2 3 minutes whatever suits you right so that's how you should end the exercise eye exercise and this has got tremendous benefits for the sites who do not have any visible eye problem if they consider so this is a general eye exercise which improves the sight okay asha joined asha says that sorry i am joining late kept the alarm at the wrong time that's okay asha it is understandable you may not uh, keep alarm for the classes your sleep is more important than any anything else so uh, you can always watch the recording so this is the beauty of technology you know uh, the recordings are kept there and you get the pdf of the of the writing notes as well like yeah, uh, earlier uh, we used to take notes and all the so taking note is always encourageable because it helps us to uh, assimilate knowledge better way but uh, this facilities are again a uh, great facilities that we get
right guys so i think uh, what about if someone has had lasik already so uh, we actually address these things that weak link due to some accidental thing also to be considered as weak link and that has to be addressed the same way structural analysis structural deformities identification and structural improvement identification same functional analysis then functional deformity identification and functional improvement strategy rather improvement strategy it has to be sketched and uh, the same exercise will be um, improving the condition for sure so don't worry about the past thing because here we are to improve the future and the present primarily so that present improvement of the present will impact the future for sure right and we'll go deeper into these aspects today because today is the day of union day and we'll go deeper into the rational analysis and how to address these these issues that past guilt how to overcome because we suffer from guilt a lot because of the past problems so we need to now look at those things in a new lens so that we can better our present and that will substantially better our future right with that note we'll take a bio break for 5 uh, minutes and we'll uh, launch another session after this uh, and another session the next session will be let me check the next session yeah we have action matters but uh, we are thinking to have therapies also so we'll see if we can have the therapy session after this right okay thank you so we'll uh, see you after uh, there is a question how long will recording be available one week yes 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 you <laughs> answered that so for uh, one week this recording this group will be available with you but we will be sharing a playlist uh, on the youtube also with these same videos right so don't worry about that you will be supported with the recordings for longer but how much you understand that matters the most not the recordings <laughs>